Hey Cancers, this is your July energy and love reading. All right. So we're going to jump right into the reading and see what your overall energy for the month of July is. Hi, source of love and love. Thank you for this divine message for my Cancers. And happy birthday, Cancers. It's your season. Overall energy in the month of July, it looks like it's lost and found. What was once lost is about to be found thanks to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she can help us find things we never even realized were lost. All right, so some of you guys may be coming across or finding some things that you feel like were lost. Um, the lost and found can also talk about losing things that, or finding things about yourself that you felt like were once lost. So you may pick up on an old hobby that you had kind of like forgotten about, or you may decide you want to I don't know, um, retrace your steps or go back and um, read a book that you had forgot about. I don't know. Um, but just like something that you feel like was once lost is going to be found. Um, really a part of yourself. Uh, something that you kind of maybe forgot about. Something that you forgot you enjoyed doing. Something you forgot that you had the aspiration to do. Um, but just kind of like bringing in some sort of energy something from the past kind of coming back around okay so lost and found so something from the past is going to be making its way back into the present highest source of love and light thank you for this divine energy reading for my cancer collective for the month of july what what is the energy for my cancers in the month of july all right, we got shadow work. The eight of wands in reverse. Highest source of love and light. Thank you for this divine message for my Cancer Collective for the month of July. It's like that was like the king of pentacles. The king of pentacles. Okay. Highest source of love and light. We have the Six of Cups in reverse. Highest source of love and light. The Three of Swords. Thank you for this. Okay. The Nine of Cups and the Eight of Cups. So I'm only taking one, so let's see. Highest source of love and light. Oh, the Four of Cups in reverse. All right, let's start here with this shadow work and six of cups in reverse. Um, so now is the time, Cancer, for you to do some shadow work to start thinking more about the aspects of yourself that you kind of keep more hidden. Um, and that could be kind of talking about this lost and found. Like, what is it that you kind of like buried away or tried to kind of like put to the side something that you didn't want to necessarily deal with in the past? Now is the time for you to kind of like acknowledge this thing, heal from it and move forward so that you can kind of learn and gain some sort of divine wisdom from the shadow work that you do. With the six of cups in reverse, there's something from your past that um, is really in connection to this. Um, it's really in connection to this shadow work that you're doing. Um, I feel like you are in this space of needing to again like I said, let go of something from your past this could be somebody from your past this could be something emotionally that you've been holding on to from your past and it could be kind of coming back up in the in the present um and now it's something that was lost something that you had put off to the side but now you have to kind of learn how to release this thing and move forward from it so in july you're going to be doing a lot of shadow work or in july you'll be learning how to let go of the past cancer all right, then we have the Eight of Wands and the Three of Swords. All right, so the Eight of Wands is in reverse here, okay? So um, something has slowed down in your life, um, and it has caused some sort of a heartbreak. So there may have been an opportunity that you felt like was missed cancer, or there could have been some sort of an ending that took place when the Eight of Wands is in reverse. It's kind of like things have slowed down. Um, there was so much momentum. There was so much energy moving 
towards a goal, towards a person, towards a situation, but it didn't work out. It didn't play out the way that you thought it would. It didn't play out the way that you wanted it to, Cancer. So now you're kind of having to deal with some sort of like a heartbreak or having to kind of like process some sort of a loss even. Um, and with the Three of Swords, it is kind of talking about healing as well. So you are in the process of healing and you kind of maybe just feel like you hit some sort of like a road bump. You may kind of feel like you just, again, are needing to release. This heartbreak could be from the past too. So it could be just something from your past coming back and kind of making you feel like you're unable to move forward. But you have to kind of just go through this healing process. Like right now, it's just a time where you have to just work on this thing, Cancer. Um, it's not something that you can get away from or hide anymore. Especially if you were trying to act as if you weren't hurt in the past. Um, it's kind of like, okay, so now you have to kind of face some of the things that have been, you've been keeping in the dark. Because it's like, it's your birthday is coming up, Cancer. Some of you guys, your birthday's already passed. For some of you, it's coming up. Um, it's your season and so you you're trying to work through all of these things that you feel like you've been holding on to because you just don't want to go into this next chapter in life with this baggage from your past and you're like you're really ready to move forward you're really ready to let go of the hurt the pain like the, the feeling of being in distress like all of that you're ready to let it go and you're ready to find yourself again because you had lot you felt like you had lost a part of you for a while all right then we have the king of pentacles and the four of cups in reverse the King of Pentacles is talking about um, a lot of stability, a lot of financial wisdom, okay? So Cancer, in the month of um, July, it looks like your finances are going to be very favorable, okay? So you are you may actually meet someone who has this King of Pentacles energy, somebody who's really smart with their money, who has a lot to teach you about investing your money, has a lot to teach you about how to make, help your money continue to grow. This person could be um, a really stable figure in your life. I want to say almost like a stable like father figure in your life for some of you guys. Um, but ultimately, like you being around this King of Pentacles or embodying this King of Pentacles energy is you embodying stability, you creating security, you creating a safe space for you in your life, something that you can depend on and rely on. And then it's the Four of Cups in reverse for me, which is like, okay, you were bored, okay? Life was really boring for you and now it is picking up, your money is picking up, um, you're creating more stable relationships, you're having more balance and more fun even, I'm kind of feeling, because if your money is right, then that means you can do the things that you enjoy doing in life. You're no longer bored, you're no longer feeling stuck and stagnant, you're coming out of that energy because you're healing cancer. You're taking the time to let go of the past and to get some sort of forward movement going on in your life all right highest source of love and light thank you for this divine love message for my cancer collective in the month of july what is the overall energy for my cancers in regards to love all right we have the empress so a lot of growth and expansion in relationships okay so divine feminine energy so some of you guys are going to be tapping in to your divine feminine energy in the month of and this can be masculine or feminine you know either gender can tap into their divine feminine energy but this is definitely talking about expansion when it comes to love so definitely the opportunity for growth um some of you guys may be growing having the opportunity for growth physically so for some of you maybe having a child okay some of you guys may be pregnant or someone around you may be pregnant with this empress energy um cancer we also it says represent the number three okay so a lot of divine energy soulmate energy as well connecting with soulmates and allowing that to that relationship to grow highest source of love and light Thank you for this divine love message. All right, for my cancers, for your energy, we have playfulness. All right, so have fun, okay? Allow your inner youthfulness to shine. Have fun. Don't be so serious when it comes to love in the month of July. Just enjoy yourself. All right, for your person's energy, we have trust. All right, the situation is calling for you to have trust, okay? So for some of you guys, there could be some, some a little bit of trust issues here. Some of you guys may play a little bit too much. So your person doesn't necessarily always trust you when you say things about like how the way that you feel or or certain things like that. Like they always think that you're playing some sort of game with them um, because you like to play a lot. 
but you just like to have fun and they just have to kind of like understand that you're just really have a really playful nurturing energy so we'll see here highest source of love and life thank you for clarifying this energy we have the high priestess pisces cancer energy with the high priestess ruled by the moon the ten of wands in reverse and the ace of pentacles all right, Cancer, so you've been dreaming about somebody, but you're a little afraid that the relationship will be a little bit too burdensome for you. Like you're afraid that you're gonna have the, like way too much responsibility with them or it's gonna require too much for you, but you still kind of want to give someone your love. You still want to offer something to someone because subconsciously or intuitively, you feel really connected to somebody, Cancer. Like you really feel like, you know, like this person has something energetically or spiritually that you're really drawn towards um but you're still a little afraid that it again like i said it's going to require a little bit too much energy on your part but with the ace of pentacles somebody could be coming in with a love offer for you a really stable love offer as well it could be coming from an earth sign a taurus capricorn virgo um or yeah, no, not or. Um, there definitely could be some sort of a love offer put on the table here. Um, it's like you kind of were like, I want to give someone my heart, but I'm a little afraid, again, with the Ten of Wands in reverse, that it's going to be too much for me. Like, it's just going to take too much effort, too much time, too much energy. But, but still, you really intuitively feel really connected to this person, the High Priestess. Like, you dream about this person highest source of love and life please clarify their person's energy the sun in reverse all right the, the, your person um leo energy with the sun card um your person could feel a little insecure let's see what else is going on here um yeah four of pentacles and three of wands in reverse i definitely feel like your person they don't trust you cancer or they're a little afraid to trust you because they don't feel really secure in the situation here with you. Like they're really guarded. Like they think something probably has happened in the past where they feel like they have to kind of put their guard up with you. Um, maybe because you kind of tend to pull yourself back because you feel like this situation could be a little bit too much for you. So this person is a little bit guarded when it comes to letting themselves, letting their own energy or letting their love kind of really be shown or their true feelings kind of come out um again pin four pentacles it could be earth sign and the three of wands in reverse because they feel like they had some sort of like they just feel like everything is a delay with you cancer like and nothing is going the way that they kind of planned it or mapped it out um in their head so they kind of are like okay so they need to have a reason or find a reason to trust you more not even necessarily like trust you more but just like a reason to let their guard down. So, Cancer, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who definitely has their guard up um, because they definitely um, kind of feel like there's been a delay here. Three of Wands in reverse. Like, they have been waiting and waiting and waiting for you to kind of maybe possibly open yourself up and for you to come in and kind of be like, okay, yes, like, I think I'm ready to, like, you know, like, give you my heart. I'm ready to really, you know, be here in this energy with you. But they just still don't feel like they've gotten that 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 reassurance or something for some reason. All right, Cancer, you are playing with people's hearts and things, and it's just like you afraid that it's just gonna be too much. You're afraid that it's just gonna take too much of your energy. But you do feel like you. I feel like that you are ready for something. All right, so we have healing heart. Freedom from toxic relationship, healing from a heartbreak. Okay, so Cancer, you've been hurt in the past and that's why you're so afraid and that's why you are making this person become very guarded because you're so guarded. Um, that's why you're afraid that, you know, you're gonna take on too much that you can't handle right now at this time. But again, like I said, intuitively, you really do feel connected to this person and you do want to be with him. You do see something, you do want to kind of come in and be with them, but you need a little bit, maybe you need more reassurance from them. And then maybe you'll be able to kind of open yourself up a little bit more. Highest source of love and light. What are the messages you have for me in regards to this connection from my cancers for love in July? Okay. 
soulmates. Okay, so for some of you guys, this is, you guys definitely have a soulmate connection here. The Empress is the Divine Feminine. So some of you guys may be connecting with your Divine Feminine or your Divine Masculine energy. Um, and this is a soul connection. And that's why it's kind of like you feel really tied to this person intuitively, subconsciously. The High Priestess. Like spiritually, you feel very, very tied to this person. But you're still healing from what you've already gone through right now you're just want to have fun like you're not even trying to really be necessarily tied down to anybody you can see yourself giving you know coming in and actually giving yourself to someone cancer i feel like but right now you're still kind of like i just want to have fun i don't want to give i don't want to be i don't want to get hurt again when i'm still trying to heal from what i've already been hurt from um and you know this person may even be kind of like who hurt you like you may the trust between you and this person may have been a little bit i mean this person may have broken your trust in the past you may still be healing from that um and that could be kind of why you're a little cool when it comes to the way that much energy you give to them things kind of have cooled off just a little bit but and that kind of is like you know like this person is really guarded this person is kind of like not as loving and not as you know open with you as they once were because they feel like, you know, this th like things just aren't progressing in the way that they wanted to. But everybody just kind of has to be patient here. Divine timing is definitely at work. But there definitely is some sort of a soulmate connection going on here. Let's see. Let me get one more card. Any more that you want to tell me in regards to this connection? All right. Learn from the past. Make memories. Camera. Learn from the past. Reminiscing. All right. So this person definitely is still going to be reminiscing about what it is that you guys once had i don't i feel like it's like i don't feel like you guys are in separation i just feel like things are just moving slowly like or like i said like you're still healing um and you're still healing from things from your past cancer and so that's just making you move a little bit slower now in the present with the person that you're dealing with and they just gotta kind of like need to trust that the things are going to start to to grow and things are going to start to expand um, and there's a lot of potential here, all right? You got potential, that's what I'm hearing. My Summer Walker, it looks like that's gonna be your song recommendation for this reading, Cancer. But thank you guys so much for tuning in and for watching. Um, I will see you guys again for your next reading. Love you all, and yeah.